Okay, how to use an SWR meter. <laughs> Just had a guy on Facebook ask me, so you know what? We're going to go through it. MFJ870. Forward, reverse, set SWR, SWR. Power scale is 30, 300, 3K. PEP and average. Keep that out. When you do anything like audio, this meter will not swing. First off the bat, we want to just check our SWRs on our radio. Okay. So, if you just want to check your SWRs, you can leave this in or out. That part doesn't matter. You want to go up here to set SWR. This scale doesn't mean anything for now for setting, checking SWRs. Go to a clear channel, or if you're just going to set your, uh, check your SWRs in channel 1, 20, and 40, whatever. So what you're going to do is put in set SWR, your key up. You spin the dial here until it's on the edge of the line. And then you just click SWR. There's our SWRs. Flat. 1.1.1. If you want to check your reflection, you go to REV here and key up. And that shows your reflection on your antenna, if there's anything coming back. Usually it ties together. If your SWRs are low, your reflection should be low. Should be. Now, say I wanted to check our power. Go to forward, dead key, or dead keying 3 watts. Okay. Now, on that 3 watts, I can key up and go all day long. I can whistle on the microphone and it's not going to show anything going forward. Because we're not in a PEP setting. Push this in for PEP. Now, see how it moves as we talk? It moves as we talk and whistle. That's PEP, peak envelope power. Just your average dead key, leave this out. As you see, that barely moves. We push PEP in again. There we go. Okay, so that's on a 30 watt scale. We have a 300 watt scale, which would show us down there, and a 3000 watt scale. So now if we turn our amplifier on here, and we key up, well, we're going to smash the 30 watt scale here. We're going to go to 300 watt scale. There we go. About one, about 160 dead key. Now I could take this off PEP and it will stay there, about 160. Push PEP in. So now we're on a 300 watt scale. You can also check your reflection here with your amp on. We're at about a water reflection on a 30 watt scale with the amplifier on, which isn't bad. A water reflection. You can go forward. Okay. Now you can also check your SWR with your amplifier on. You go to SWR set, key up, spin your dial down here. And then hit SWR. I'm still at 1.12 with my amplifier on, which is good. That means the amplifier is tuned. All the coax is good. We run good LMR 400 coax into the house. And then all the jumpers are LMR 240 Ultra Flex, which is good coax. So as we want to say we turn the amplifier off, but we want to adjust the power on my radio. So I key up. And I got RF power here. And you go down to here. Go back to forward. There's my power. I could take it off PEP just to set my dead key. That'll dead key high on 13, this little radio. And it'll dead key its lowest on about 1.3. And we're in forward. We have it not PEP, so we can whistle all we want. It's probably going to move. If we push it in PEP, as you whistle, it's going to move. So say I want to just set my dead key to 4 watts on this radio. There we go. There's 4 watt dead key. Then I can turn my amplifier on. Now I can do my PEP. Show it swings over 20 in a whistle, but the dead key for the amp, PEP off, is still 4. So we can safely turn our amplifier on, because we're only running 4 watts. Now with the amplifier on, it's going to kill the 30 watt scale. Go up to 300 watt scale and forward, and there you go. Dead keying 200 right now. Push my PEP in, swinging just about three. 
So that's how you use your basic MF370. You got your PDP and average, which we just explained. This is your range, 30, 300, or 3K. This is for dialing up your SWR when you're going to SWR set. Key it up, spin your dial until it's on the very end, and then hit SWR, and there's my SWR, 1.1 with my amp on. So that's how you use the meter, very easy. I set SWR, twist the dial, then hit flick SWR, check your SWR. Got to be in AM mode, can't be inside down, remember that. Reverse is the power coming back to your system, or reflected, and forward is the power going out. So if we do reverse, that's our power coming back into our system, about a watt, and forward, that's power going out, over 100, over 200. So that is how it works, boys and girls. That is your MFJ870 SWR meter, quick little training.